I don't know if I can pinpoint a moment, I guess. So, so, so well, my, my beer story is that my parents are from England. And uh, my dad, uh, when he was in his university years in, in the UK in the 1970s, uh, really got into real ale. Um, there was obviously that was around the time that Camera, the campaign for real ale, was getting started in the UK, and there was kind of this backlash against mass-produced industrial lagers that were coming over from the continent in Europe and, and kind of uh, supplanting some of the more traditional uh, British beer styles. So. Uh, so my dad's always been really interested in good beer and he got me interested in good beer obviously when I started to, to drink beer as well. Uh, so I would say, you know, I didn't start off with craft, I started off with imports, uh, but I think that's pretty common for a lot of people that they knew they wanted something better and they went to imports first and then I, I would say probably um, it was really when I went to school in Montreal, because I went to McGill, that was when I really started becoming aware of there being kind of a craft movement or a craft scene, because there's lots of breweries and brew pubs in Montreal. I spent my fair share of time at a few of them in, <laughs> in my years at McGill, but, but that, that was when I really became conscious of, of the fact that you didn't have to look overseas for good beer, that there was actually good beer right here. So uh, yeah, I, I guess the, the formative years for me were, were when I went to university. Um, and then it, it ended up that I actually lived across the street from a brew pub. I uh, became friends with the brewmaster there and he actually helped me as I was learning how to brew my own beer and, and ultimately uh, you know, setting up my own breweries. So.